they look weird, but do they work? Feel these. Oh, yeah, they're like nothing. On the eve of the big Gasparilla races, Dr. Joe puts these flimsy little shoes to the test. Don't run anywhere. The Fox 13 10 o'clock news starts now. Now, if you don't want to pay for gas, you could just run everywhere, all right? Thousands of athletes are in the Tampa Bay area tonight. Welcome, folks. The eve of the big Gasparilla Distance Classic weekend. There are four races, a 5K, 15K tomorrow, and an 8K and a half marathon on Sunday. Have a good time. But, you know, no matter the distance, you're going to see more and more runners sporting a different kind of shoe. Many of these shoes are more on the, uh, well, the flimsy side. But some runners swear by them, and our Dr. Joe explains the attraction and whether they're really... Good for your feet or not. Welcome to the age of less is more. Purists believe our bodies are naturally designed to handle running. And if you've recently shopped for new sneakers, then you know these lighter, thinner shoes are one of the most popular options on the market. I'm looking for shoes. I heard there's ones that can make my butt look better, too. <laughs> like a supermodel here. <laughs> Shoe shopping can be pretty entertaining when you're with former Tampa Bay Buck Martin Gramatica. Do you have a size 12 for me? 12. <laughs> Are you making my feet look bigger with that angle? Because you know they make fun of that. I would just buy that one just for the box. During his NFL kicking career, Martin wore shoes two sizes too small. Uh, you do have to squeeze them into a tight shoe just so you could feel the ball. As a kid, he played soccer in his bare feet. We didn't know any better, so but we're trying to strengthen our feet. But injuries on and off the field have this retired NFL kicker searching for a new pair of kicks here at Fit to Run. Feel these. Oh, yeah, they're like nothing. Martin's trying minimalist shoes, which promise to protect your feet while giving you that barefoot feeling. I've never felt a shoe as light as this. Big companies are getting in on the trend, attracting distance runners like Hank Campbell. The whole idea is to teach, kind of reprogram the brain to run barefoot. To perfect technique, Campbell trains a few days a week in these five-finger shoes. The goal, keep the weight off the heel. But when we run heavy in this position, all of that shock goes straight up and into the body. Whereas when you land more on the, the forefoot, more barefoot style, you're underneath yourself and the knee is already flexed. So we're putting the load on the muscles as opposed to on the joint. And that flexed position helps make our bodies natural shock absorbers. Okay. But podiatrist like Dr. Jeff Kopelman has some concerns. To me, the jogging shoe is kind of like the shock absorber on your car. He says for the average jogger, the extra padding works best. And without that cushioning of that shoe, when you run and you're two, three times your body weight is hitting your foot every time you hit the ground, I mean, that's, that's jarring. For support, he recommends adding an insert. Martin's getting one to help his everyday shoes perform, but he also likes these lighter models. That pink is kind of stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> that was a workout right there, but it's worth it, though. They feel great. I may start running, actually. I've never ran in, I haven't ran in 15 years, so I may start running out after these shoes. <laughs> Most trainers agree if you're switching to minimalist shoes, you have to transition into wearing them slowly over time. And many say expect some soreness because a change in your posture will cause you to use different muscle groups. Now, Hank Campbell, the trainer we talked to, came in third in last year's Gasparilla Distance Classic, and he'll be competing again in this weekend's race. As for Martin Gramatica, he liked all the shoes he tried on, but he decided to take the five-finger shoes home. Of course, if you have any questions, talk with your doctor or podiatrist. I'm Dr. Joette Giovinco, Fox 13 News. Good advice. Talk to your doctor. But yeah. those five-finger shoes, I just... Good to see Grammatica again, though, wasn't uh, it? Yes, <laughs> always. <laughs>